when it comes to creative problem solving, right, is that any great story or any great product, the best outcomes start at the beginning when the team finds a unique insight or hidden truth. Because oftentimes the richest insights sit below the surface. We can't see those, right? And I think average work that you see in the world often is because people are operating off of an assumption or simple observation, right? But I think the best stories and the best products and services come from something deeper. And that's the idea of seeing further and farther. See what others see and find what others don't. It was just a couple years ago that you might see an elite fencing competition. But what you can't see is there's an unfair advantage on this field, right? One athlete has an advantage over the other. And what you can't see is one of the athletes is wearing a, a hijab with traditional fabric. And at that time, there hadn't been any innovations within the fabric. So when the fabric would get wet through perspiration, it would harden and you couldn't hear the signals from the umpire and you would get a false start penalty. Talk about an unfair advantage. But again, you can't see it on the surface. So you have to dig deeper. You have to find what others don't. And that's what led to the Nike Pro Hijab, fabric that worked with your body and your uniform as well as enabled you to compete without thinking about it and leveled that playing field. And so it really comes down to your eyes, right? And your collective vision. How do you create a vision advantage to see the opportunities or maybe see the barriers that some communities and individuals have to your innovation and inspiration? And so I always talk about we're much more powerful as a collective because it opens our aperture. It opens our peripheral vision. And it allows us, to me, to create distinct and unforgettable communication or innovation that we put out in the world. Now, paired with empathy is curiosity. And if creating a diverse team means that, you know, diversity is the oxygen, you could say, that breathes life into the creative process, well, I think curiosity is the rocket fuel. I'm not one to think that you should just wait around for inspiration to hit you, right? I come from a brand where curiosity was one of the core pillars and values of the culture. And we actually operationalized way to bring the outside in. So this whole idea of getting outside yourself is looking out into the world beyond your sector or category and bringing it back into your, yours and sharing it with one another. Because so much of innovation from the past and present comes through transference something that's happening in a different category or sector is seen and then transferred and creates groundbreaking solutions in another. And certainly over the years, you've seen brands get outside themselves all the way into outer space. We take a lot of these different products for granted today, but guess what? They all came from space exploration innovation, right? Camera phone, computer mouse, just to name a few. And believe it or not, you could say Nike's greatest innovation is Nike Air. It revolutionized cushioning and running shoes in the 80s. But the fact is, is the story around this, this product is that a NASA engineer came from Nike who had been working on astronaut helmets and felt that the techniques he was using could be applied to creating running cushioning solutions. Nike was open to hearing that, and the rest is history, you could say. Now, that shoe, just like the Air Force One today, is one of the highest sellers in the world, and there's such huge passion and affinity for those products. 